let's get into the next lab. This lab is about using NetPlan. We're going to use NetPlan in Ubuntu Server to view our IP configuration and then set a new static IP configuration. The configuration files are stored in slash etc slash netplan. And inside of there, you'll find YAML files. YAML used to be known as yet another markup language, but really it's not a markup language. If we take a look at this document that we're reading right here and open this to the side, you'll see that this is a markdown file. This is an actual markup language and it's known as Markdown. That's what I write most of my lab documents in. But YAML's not really designed as a markup tool. Instead, it's designed for configuration files and data. So nowadays, it's known as YAML ain't markup language, meaning it's not really markup language. Anyways, let's go to our Ubuntu server. So let's change over to that NetPlan directory. We'll do a cd slash etc slash NetPlan. And inside of there, you'll see your configuration files. You can have more than one. In this case, I just have the one network interface device. So we have one YAML file. Let's take a look at that now using tab completion to complete that file name. Press enter and you'll see the YAML configuration that was written automatically when we installed this Ubuntu server. When I installed this Ubuntu server, I used the 10.0.2.53 IP address. So take a look at the configuration here. It all starts with network. And inside of network, you can have different types of network interface cards. If they're wired, they would be known as Ethernet cards or Ethernets. And the one wired connection that I have is ENS3. If we had more, we'd list those down here in the same tab delimited format. Inside of ENS3, you'll see the various configurations. So for example, we have addresses. We have one IP address here, 10.0.2.53 24. That tells us that our net mask is 255.255.255.0, right? In addition, we have routes. The routes that we are working with here is just the default gateway. So default gateway is being used via 10.0.2.1. And that's allowing us access out of the 10.0.2 network. And then we have name servers. And you can have multiple name servers, by the way. If one fails, you could have a secondary one. In this case, we just have the one 10.0.2.1. We see that we're running version two of NetPlan here. And you can add lots of other information here based on what you need for TCP IP. So what I wanna do is I wanna make a modification to this. I wanna change the IP address. So let's say we're making a configuration change here. I'll press I for insert mode, and I'll change the IP address to 153 instead of 53. We'll escape out, colon WQ to save and quit. And then we need to apply that configuration. We have two ways to do that. We could use the netplan try command or the netplan apply command. Actually, there's more to it. There's more that you can do with NetPlan, but we'll start with those two. First, NetPlan try will look at the configuration and see if it's good and give you some time to exit out if you don't want that configuration. NetPlan apply will simply just try to apply the configuration right away. So generally, I'll do a NetPlan try first and see what happens. So we'll press enter for that. And it looks good. If there was an error, it would tell us the error here on the screen. And so there are no errors, there are no issues. And it says, do you wanna keep these settings? And then it says, press enter before the timeout to keep those settings. So we have two minutes with which to accept the new configuration. If we don't, it'll revert back to what it was. But I do want the new configuration, so I'll press enter. 
and it says configuration accepted. So instead of deactivating and reactivating the network interface, we're using netplan commands. So now let's run an IPA command and take a look. And if we look here, we see ENS3 and we see the IP address 10.0.2.153. So now it's really important to test. Whenever you make changes to your network configurations, always test. So let's do that. Let's do a simple ping and we'll connect to our gateway and we get replies. So we should be good. Excellent. So again, as I mentioned, we don't have to down or up the network interface. We just have to use the netplan try or netplan apply command. Let's go back into that configuration file and let's show a couple more things and then we'll change it back. First thing I wanna do is show that you can configure your IP addresses in different ways. We could add additional IP addresses if we wanted to. Let's say we needed a second IP address here. We could add them with a separate dash or hyphen, if you will, or you could put them directly after the addresses colon and use square brackets. So we could do something like this, and we could comma separate additional IP addresses if we needed them. And that would function as well. So you have a couple different ways to work with YAML. You can work with square brackets, you can work with additional dashes, that's up to you. But I'm going to change this back here and get rid of this. And we'll get rid of the one so that we can change back to the original IP address of .53. Finally, you might see something else in your NetPlan configuration, and that is the line item called renderer. The renderer is the networking service that you're using on your system. By default, that's gonna be network D on an Ubuntu server. So you don't really need the renderer line item if you're using network D, but you could actually put it there and it would be okay. When the renderer item is really needed is if you're changing to a different networking service. And we mentioned this before, it would be possible in an Ubuntu server to switch over to network manager. It's definitely possible to do that. What you'd have to do is you'd have to install the network manager service, then enable it and start it, then stop and disable the network D service, and then finally come into your NetPlan configuration and change it to network manager, which by the way uses capital N, capital M. So that's why you would use the renderer item. Okay, but I'm gonna backspace that all out. Good. We'll escape out, colon WQ to save and quit. And that should be good, but we'll check it again. We'll do a net plan apply directly this time and see if we get any errors. There we go. No news is good news as usual with Linux. So now if we do an IPA, we have our original IP address back. That's dot 53. As always, make sure you test. This time I'll test against example.com and we get replies. Awesome, good work. There are some links for you for further study in the lab document if you're interested. So take a look at those and definitely do some practice with Ubuntu Server.